And we start with a development just into the newsroom. Good evening, I'm Rob Powers. Ohio lawmakers just passed a bill banning trans youth from accessing gender-affirming care. That means if the governor signs this, teens, their parents, their doctors are all prohibited from getting or prescribing hormone blockers or medical procedures. It also includes some mental health services. News 5's Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow has been covering this bill since its introduction. She explains what could happen next. Trans women are women! Trans women are women! I'm not mutilated. I'm not ruined. LGBTQ plus advocates, including Teen Cassidy, are speaking out against House Bill 68. If you medically transition and then detransition, your life isn't ruined. She was born as a female and transitioned to male when she was 14. But a few years later, she realized it wasn't the right decision for her. So she detransitioned. These bills are being proposed using stories like mine as like evidence to support them. She feels her story is being hijacked by people saying she is the reason why HB 68 is essential. The bill just passed the Senate and would ban gender affirming care for trans youth. This uh, treatment that folks have, there's surgery, there's uh, chemical intervention, uh, hormone blockers, a number of things like that, and then counseling. Um, the, the two, uh, the, the, the first two are going to be banned by the bill. Advocates for the bill, like Senate President Matt Huffman, say the legislation prevents allegedly confused teens and pressured parents from ruining minors' bodies before they know who they are. Certainly the parents are the most important decision maker in a child's life, but there are things where it's important for the state to step in and protect the child. Democrats and some Republicans disagree. And even though it passed, House Minority Leader Allison Russo has one last hope of it getting blocked. And the big question is, what will the governor do um, if this comes out? You know, will he veto this? Um, so we're watching it very closely. Has the governor given any indication that he would veto this? Uh, I don't know. That gives many members, um, Republicans and Democrats, um, pause. The bill also includes a ban on trans youth participating in athletics, which Governor Mike DeWine has spoken out against previously. Transitioning didn't take my future away from me, but banning transition will take the future away from the kids who kill themselves because of this bill. The governor's team told us that they are monitoring the bill, but would not elaborate further. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.